She wants a lean, she want the Gucci. I ride with some harness on me, I got the blue cheek. Pull up in a Jeep, I put it on for a G. I want your body, give me this laptop on the front seat. We gon' fuck for an hour, then we gon' move to the back seat. When you give me a lap dance, baby, watch for the cat, please. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Chel Chanel, and I'm back with another mukbang. Alright, y'all, so today I got Subway. Yeah, that way. So I have a root beer. Um, I have a oven roasted chicken and cheese sub. I put lettuce, um, tomato, and mayonnaise on it with obviously the chicken and the cheese. I got a six inch um, with two chocolate chip cookies, but I'm probably not going to finish it. Today, y'all, we're going to be talking about what birth was like when i did my last mukbang a lot of you guys wanted me to actually talk about that but i chose the other topic instead what did i talk about um what it's like being a mother so i'm going to talk about the birth of my child and if you think i mean it's not really nasty i'm not going to really share like any weird um parts of the birth so I don't really think it's disgusting to talk about while I eat. It's, you know, a blessing. It's a beautiful thing. You know, it's life, whatever. But I'm going to be talking about the birth um, because you guys actually wanted me to. So, um, so we're going to start from freaking the beginning. Hold on. Y'all, I haven't had a show with and like forever. I'd say since like high school, honestly. And I think it was like my junior year. That was like three years ago. It'll be good. So y'all, it started when the birth started. So like, it's crazy as hell because I was already past due my date, y'all. I was supposed to have him September 29th. Literally went right past that shit. So I went to my doctor's appointment for, and it's crazy how fucking, like I can really remember this shit like it was yesterday. It was almost six months ago, y'all. I, um, went in for my 40 week checkup, y'all. And by this time, I was a little bit freaked out because I honestly stopped working at 39 weeks because I thought my baby was gonna come for real. Like, it is very true when they say, boys, take their time. They're gonna come when they wanna come because I was exercising. I'm talking about walking every day at work and then getting off work and walking like a couple blocks with my mom. Like, I was doing um, squats. They say do squats, you know, open it up a little. Excuse me. None of that shit was working. I was doing everything, y'all. It's crazy. Like, I was so active. And nothing was... I, every time I went to a doctor's appointment, wasn't dilated. And when I went to this 40-week checkup, was not dilated. And by this time, I really thought something was wrong because... My baby wasn't really as active as he was. Like, when we played music, he would be dancing. Or not dancing but he would be moving and i just knew he was there he would always always move like crazy at night um and by this time it kind of just slowed down which creeped me out and i had the baby app and it said you know around this time if your baby's not moving as much as it usually do you need to go check it out because you pass your due date anyway so you need to see what's up so this 40 week checkup they just were going to see if i was dilated and that's it and so I mentioned, I'm like, okay, 
I'm not dilated and I'm past due and my baby is not moving as much as he normally does something is really really weird I said that I mentioned that they was not playing about that shit they gave me a ultrasound fast and during your pregnancy pregnancy oh sorry I think you're only supposed to get three ultrasounds like they don't for some reason they don't give you more I think it affects the birth or the baby or just something it that just I don't know what is wrong with it but they don't like to do more than three so they were not going to give me any more um, ultrasounds like I was or I already had my three so when you mention something um, in your past due and you mentioned something is wrong they're going to give you a ultrasound automatically because they want to see what's going on y'all they gave me an ultrasound right my baby had no fluid no fluid which means my water already broke and I had no idea so what I'm thinking is I'm thinking that my water broke maybe while I was in the shower or like maybe when I was peeing I was squeezing a little too hard I don't know I felt I have no idea where my water broke at because like it didn't happen in the bed I was I never woke up wet or I never heard a pop so it's like it had to happen while I was in the shower you know already wet like because I had no idea that my water even broke so yeah my baby was without fluid actually I can't tell you when it broke I don't know when it broke it was just slowly draining I'm not gonna say he was completely out of fluid but ladies pay attention to that shit like some people will know when their water breaks clearly because sometimes you're like just laying there you're just like walking around and and it pops other times you have situations like mine which is very fucking weird that shit is weird like you have to pay attention to that because my baby honestly could have died without any fluid that's how they breathe that's how they move around that's how they grow you know my shit was leaking i had no idea so my baby honestly but it was weird though because like my water was draining but i wasn't having no contractions for real like i was having like like braxton hicks and shit like that like like it wasn't painful how it was supposed to be if your water breaks so it was very confusing mm -hmm. also my appointment was um it was uh i forgot the date of my appointment exactly oh okay so yeah my appointment was the second which was uh wednesday and i was scheduled to be induced before they checked me i was already scheduled to be induced um sunday it was Wednesday, y'all. Um, so after they gave me an ultrasound, they freaking rushed me over to the labor and delivery area. Y'all, I couldn't even go. They wouldn't even let me go home. Get no shit to shower with. None of that. They was not playing. They immediately put me um in the gown. Um what was it? They started me on my medicine ASAP. Like, wasn't playing at all. Like, um. Damn, I'm getting shit on my clothes. I don't even know it. This shit good, y'all. They immediately uh, started me on some medicine. Like, they were not fucking around. They was. Because that was a pretty. That's pretty scary. Like when you pass due and your water has been leaking and you had no idea that's pretty fucking scary like giving birth is already very scary pregnancy is already very scary like very dangerous it's definitely risking a lot so with that happening it was like real crazy they put me on some medicine fast as fuck um it honestly took me all together about while well, i was in labor for like like six 
No, no, I can't say that. It was like, uh, honestly, I was in labor for like 12 hours. Um, and I was trying so freaking hard not to get an epidural, y'all. So freaking hard. Like, I waited and waited. If you don't know what pain is, bitch, the motherfucking cramps, the motherfucking cramps, them contractions. What? That's pain. That's real fucking pain. The pain of contractions before giving birth is worse than giving birth. Like, seriously. That shit is not a joke. Y'all think period cramps is a joke? Or you think period cramps is pain? It's pain. Because my period cramps are bad. But them contractions? Them contractions. Mm. Mm mm mm. Mm-mm. It was at a point where it was like I couldn't even breathe. Like I couldn't move. Like I was freaking stuck like a it hurt so bad, like for real. I was sitting there like like this shit is crazy like I'm really about to have a baby like this shit crazy this shit hurt at five centimeters I was like fuck it my mom was like girl you need to get the epidural like you are sitting here and can barely focus like oh the contraction is the worst part and every time they gotta check you is the worst part which means they put them fingers up you that shit hurts like my baby daddy and my mama had to literally hold me down every time they checked me. It seemed like, you know, for a pregnant woman, they're supposed to take it easy on you. They're supposed to be, you know, soft and like, you know, you carrying a baby. For some reason, the nurses that I had was like shoving their damn fingers in me, like shoving, trying to like put like their whole hand in me. It hurt so bad. Like having contractions, imagine having contractions period cramps and then somebody trying to shove their damn hand up you like that shit hurt i was crying i was freaking out like i'm telling you when i tell you my baby daddy and them had to hold me down they had to hold me down because i was freaking out um i ended up having to get like uh something i forgot what it was but they had to put it in me behind my cervix to make me soften up because i just was not dilating so most of the time that I was um, in labor, I was just wasn't dilating until I got the epidural. When I got the epidural, like, I was in labor, like, right after that. Like, I was in labor. I was already about five, six centimeters. And then as soon as they gave me the epidural, it shot up like that. Like, I was ready to give birth. Um, so, and honestly, giving birth was not... It was nothing compared to the actual labor part like obviously because i had the epidural but i'm pr i promise i bet without getting the epidural still pushing a baby out did not hurt worse than them cramps did not hurt worse than them contractions y'all i put money that it do not hurt worse like i probably sound like i'm being so dramatic but somebody vouch for me somebody say something in the comments if you had a baby Tell these people that them contractions are nothing to play with. Oh, I keep spitting. Them contractions, I can't even. I don't even know, bro. I was pushing him out, y'all. Like, I couldn't get him out. I could not get him out. I don't know how many times I pushed. But they ended up having to get a suction cup and like pulling him out by his head which was so fucking sad because he had a bruise on his head for a while like back here it's gone now but it was so sad at first his head looked like a damn like an egg like it was so it pissed me off but you know they couldn't do nothing they was trying their hardest to avoid sending me to the c-section room this doctor 
you're only supposed to use one suction cup i think he used like three because he was just trying to avoid getting me through the c-section like c-section you have a lot more complications and stuff like that um so i really did not want to do that honestly so i had one more time he said you got one more push and if you can't get him out sweetheart like you're gonna have to go to the c-section room his heart rate was dropping my heart rate was dropping it was very like scary very dangerous um so i had one more time to push and he got him out for some reason i could not get him out y'all i'm talking about i was pushing like veins popping out pushing hard as fuck like his head wasn't coming out that head was not coming out at all for real my baby was so little, he was six pounds. I couldn't get him out. But I ended up finally getting him out. And I had one stitch. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. Um, I think I had a pretty smooth um birth. I'm not gonna say I had a smooth pregnancy because bitch, y'all already know. I was stressed the fuck out. Okay? Stressed out, like for real. I don't drink no soda, y'all, but this real very good. I tried to get some sweet tea, but that wasn't working out. That sweet tea was nasty as fuck. Then I tried to get some strawberry lemonade they had in there. It was like unsweet strawberry lemonade. Like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Like, uh-uh. And I can eat, y'all. I don't know what's going on with me. I got like a man inside me. Like, I have like a man metabolism. Like, I'm not sure. What's going on with me? It's just, I can eat for real, for real. And I weigh like 150. But I can eat, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all, I'd say my birth was pretty smooth. Um, My baby chunky now, boy, he chunky. He can eat and he don't play by his food. He's about 15 about 16 pounds now chunky i have a vlog actually coming out i'm sorry i haven't showed y'all him yet i don't know why everybody has seen him except y'all it's not even that i'm hiding him i don't know i just don't have i just haven't did nothing with him like for a, a video but i have a vlog coming out which would probably it might come out after this um, with him in it. He's all in it. What the fuck, Chelsea? Um, yeah. The next, uh, video after this, uh, which is a vlog, pretty long vlog. He's all in it. Playing around, sitting up. Um, but yeah, y'all, my birth was pretty straight. Like, I don't know. I, I recommend, if you strong, if you can take pain, excuse me. If you're strong, you can take pain very well. I recommend not getting the epidural. I recommend not doing it because it's very true when they say you will have problems. You will. Um, actually, you know what? It depends because I actually seen like a debate on Facebook. People were saying they don't have problems. Some people were saying they do. I am one of those people that do. Um, my back hurts so much. Like you see me sitting up like this and then sitting back like it it doesn't take much for my back to hurt at all anymore like i could just be sitting up and like i need to lay down like my back hurts now and my back was not like that at first like at all like now my shit hurt like i'm old as fuck like which i honestly should have waited or shouldn't have got the epidural because i was already at five six centimeters when i got it I could have went that extra step and just not have got it. But I'm telling y'all right now, 
that pain was so crazy and I forgot to mention they do not feed you like you can when you once you go into labor you cannot eat and I think you can't even eat an hour I for, it might be three hours an hour something like that before you go into labor you need to have already ate in already digested and then then they put you into um, labor but that whole time you're in labor until you have that baby you cannot eat and I think they give you like a uh, liquid so you can have a uh, like juice um, jello ice they gave me some chicken broth you know shit like that but if you eat like that shit don't do nothing for you like what the fuck is some chicken broth like I need chicken like I need actual chicken that shit do not help you so um couple contractions in or like a couple hours later into my labor I was I felt so like oh my god like so sick This damn truck pulled behind me. You better go on now. I'm gonna I'm get out. How I'm gonna get out. How I'm gonna get out. You can avoid getting that shit though. Don't get it. Um, but I just really couldn't take it. And I'm actually, I actually could take pain. Like, I usually never have to take medicine for cramps. Like, and my shit is crazy. My shit feel like somebody just keeps stabbing me. Like, I have awful cramps. And I usually don't take medicine. I usually just, like, handle it like a boss. But I'm telling you right now. I'm not exaggerating about them contractions. Them bitches hurt. Like they are not a joke type shit. Um, so if you can go without it, I suggest that. That is the smarter um, choice. That is the healthier choice for you and your kid. Um, I would recommend doing it all natural. But I mean, no matter what, we're all strong. If you want to do it or, you know, not do it, it doesn't matter. You're a strong woman. Um, you carried that baby for nine, ten months. Um, and, you know, it's whatever, really. Um, but, oh, that's what I was saying. Um, during my labor, I ended up throwing up on the nurse. I, I ate some, uh, some of the chicken broth that they gave me. And I don't know, it just didn't sit well with me or, you know, like contractions was just bothering me that bad. I had a headache. Like, I just did not feel good. I, I was hot as hell. You're going to get hot. I don't know why people want to get their hair done and shit like that. Be cute and stuff like that. I'm telling you, when you go into labor, that shit is out the window. Being cute is out the window. Like, I looked a hot ass mess. Like, I'm not even going to show y'all because I looked crazy. I looked real crazy. But... I ended up throwing up all over the nurse about three times like and I don't even know I just ate chicken broth like I didn't eat anything else I was throwing up so my labor was pretty crazy but pretty smooth at the same time um, and I'm truly blessed at the end of the day I got a really healthy baby he's real healthy he's really really funny he's a great baby um wouldn't trade him for the world so um, that pretty much concludes my birth story, I guess. My labor and delivery. <laughs> if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn that post bell notification on if you want to know when your girl is posting, okay? See you all in the next video. Peace.